morning, Sam. What is this? Trash. I don't think so. I should say scrap. 12th Street Box Exchange. Huh. Get in my truck. Not super heavy. Oh, four hours. I think I can put some scrap in there. Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Let's get started. Hmm. They'll be still in their lawnmower, Paul. Maybe they're just in the middle of cutting their grass. Uh, I don't want to sell the scrapyard a bunch of snow. Not intentionally, anyway. Oop, I didn't really mean to do that. You know what's funny? That just hit my ankle. And yeah, that pretty much rocked about an eight. Sure did. It's nothing like the, the ankle bone getting smacked by something. Now, someone said that these things fold down. I know they fold down. A lot of times I just don't want to. This has turned out pretty good. Two streets, two pieces of scrap. I wonder if I can keep that going. That would be nice. You. Aw, how cute. Well, it used to be cute. This thing has seen a few birthday parties. Yeah, what's up with this safety thing? Someone showed me once. Yeah, that's right. That's right way. I think. Yeah, it has to be that way. I'm gonna break it. Right. Ow! Let's see if I can get this a little bit smoother. No. The mechanism broke. Get out of here. What is this? Hmm. Looks like metal. Wait a minute. A love seat, two chairs, and a table. with no glass that's for sure this is bulky I wonder if it's aluminum Aluminum-ish. No, it's very steel. Okay. Well, steel's heavier than aluminum, so. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is definitely bulky. Huh. There's just no easy way of doing it. toilet if you need one I don't need one right now but whenever I do need one there's not one here uh, right, where are you going This is definitely slippery. Yeah, this isn't bad. Now this probably could be resale. But I do know one thing, in a matter of minutes, it's gonna be part of DeKalb County landfill if I don't take it. Cushions. Remember being a little kid, <laughs> get all the cushions. So we had a love seat and a big couch. Get all the cushions, and even the back of our couch had cushions. So we could totally make a Ford out of cushions. My brother and I, my friends. That was fun. I don't know why I just want to keep on making it taller. All right, ready for the suplex? Oh. <laughs> Come with me, my scrap. Huh. You know what, I actually want it just like this, but in the truck. This is definitely steel, it's heavy. Okay, nice start. What's up, bro? Good man, how you doing? Good. Right on. Did, huh? Sure did, man. Appreciate you. Okay, cool. Dude, I appreciate you, man. All right. me my scrap got all the snow on it Xfinity guys all right dude where are you going hmm maybe this wasn't the best idea having this blocking half of my entrance to the back of my truck
is there any other way except for just manhandling it awkwardly This is the part that I enjoy the most. Is just calmly driving through the neighborhoods. It's like the most serene. It just gets me thinking. And I don't know. You know how you get a song stuck in your head? Every now and then I get a piece of scripture stuck in my head. And the one that's stuck in my head the last two days is seek first the kingdom of God everything else will be given to you and there's there's a little twist to that scripture because of, of I've lived it is that seek first the kingdom of God so let's say I have all these wants and desires um, and they're not being fulfilled I'm you know I'm hustling I'm grinding I'm I'm doing a bunch of stuff and things aren't quite working out I, I, I want and I crave and but seek first the kingdom of God and it starts to change my spirit that things that I normally would want and crave and desire and chase after um, they get shifted into caring about people and caring about art and caring about um, doing the next right thing and character development and and just you know learning more about God and um, yeah, so it's like, yeah, he'll give me my heart's desire, but my heart gets changed. It's, it's the strangest thing, but it's just cool experiencing it. I'm like, are those plastic? <laughs> oh, I see some metal. Brand new. Uh, all kinds of stuff in here. Bunch of kid stuff. Come here with me. That didn't work out so well. Hmm. I see a vacuum. CD rack. Hey. No cord. Oh, I got tricked. Cord cutters got to it. Those cord cutters. Stabilization control messing up my, my tailspin. I know it seems strange. But uh, it is cold out here, but the second we start working, the second anyone starts working, and this thing's been pretty stripped out, um, we warm up fast. Yeah, it's gonna have to go right over the top. Too far. <laughs> um, yeah, we warm up pretty fast. So, last thing I want to do actually is to start sweating. So, uh, that's why I got the window down. It's just to keep the cool environment going. Yeah, I did have my snippers, you know, kind of stuck out here. But with the snow and the rain, um, didn't want to uh, have these things get totally thrashed. So, having them in the truck definitely helped. Is that the door? 
board. I don't know what it is, but I like it. <laughs> I just do. Should have cut line, huh? Gotta be bold, Paul. Let's be quick about this. How much? 4,340. I like that number. That's good. That'll be at least, I don't know, 15 bucks. Oh. Something like that. And I'm scrapping in the very neighborhood that the scrap yard is in. Now with the snow, it always makes it a little bit awkward because I don't know what I'm running over. The thing I mentioned a few videos ago, I've had two flat tires in the two and a half years I've been doing this. Yeah, it costs 20 bucks to get, get it plugged up. But I could get a plug kit and do it myself. I've done that once. I mean, not in my scrapping time, but in life, it's not that difficult. All right, scrap, get out of my truck. Yeah, this is not the place to be spinning and peeling out. Got to put some hunk of metal in my tire. So it's 43 something going in. Now I need to look at the scale behind me. And I have 3980. 3980 to 4080, 41, 42, 4380. So probably almost 400 pounds. Awesome. Hmm. Gut Morgan. How are you, Susie? Good. I just want to thank you for a safe day, safe scrapping, and uh, you're amazing. I just want to pause for a second and just think about you, God, because just like you said, for just help me seek you, Lord, and not just seek the pleasures of, of this world, because just such beautiful things happen when I focus on you. I need your help, though, God. Mm. It's not easy, but in the name of your son, make it happen. Amen.